Hey everyone, the purpose of this video is to give you a bit of instruction about uh, GIF encoding. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over, uh, walk through a couple of slides that relate to this. So let's take an example. Uh, let's suppose that we wanted to map the Italian flag. And let us assume that we're going to do this in a 9 by 15 grid. So if we're, if we're doing this without any GIF encoding, we would have a total of 9 times 15 different pixels that we would have to worry about. And each pixel consists of three, um, three components, the amount of red, the amount of green, and the amount of blue. And so we would need three bytes to represent each color. And so 9 times 15 times 3, it would take us 405 bytes. Now let's suppose we use GIF encoding. So that means that, first of all, we're going to need to have a color table that's going to list all of the colors of the flag. Italy has only three of them. And we are going to have numbers sort of indexing the, uh, the elements. And in each index, we're going to list the amount of red, green, and blue. And we're going to pretend that each one of these is a byte. So we're going to have a total of four bytes per row. Four times three rows is 12. So our table is going to be 12 bytes. The actual data, we're going to try and encode it. We're going to use this runtime uh, encoding scheme. So we have five threes, right? Because we have five greens, and green is three. Then we have five twos, because two is white. And then we have five ones. Then we repeat. And so we have five more threes, five more twos, five more ones, and so forth. If we look at all the data, and here's all the data here, we will see that we have a total of 27 of these pairs. Each pair is two numbers, so that we're going to say that that's two bytes. So we have 27 times 2 plus the 12 bytes that we took for our table. It would take us a total of 66 bytes to represent the Italian flag. We started off with 405, and 66 out of 405, that means we're using only about 16.3% of the data that we would need if we didn't use GIF encoding. Let's take a look at a uh, slightly simpler example, but it still works out the same way. Hungary. Hungary, the colors happen to be running uh, across the entire flag, and so this makes it a little bit easier. You notice that in this case, so we still have three colors, so our color table still takes up to 12 bytes, but we have a total of 45 ones, 45 twos, and then 45 threes. So we only have three, one, two, three of these pairs. Each one of them still takes two bytes, so we just have six plus 12, that's 18 bytes. So the Italian, the uh, Hungarian flag, uh, we, we do considerably better than the Italian one. Um, we're going to shrink down from 405 to 18. And 18 out of 405, that's 4.44% of the original size. So that is a pretty impressive saving. So that's how you do GIF encoding. This isn't exactly how it's done, but it's very close. It gives you the uh, idea of it. And so for the assignment that you're working on, you will have to do this same sort of thing, but using different flags. That's it. See you Wednesday.